welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be filming a full face using only Christopher Buckle Cosmetics. Um, I have now, now, I have a variety of products from blushes to setting sprays, foundation, concealer, everything. The only thing I'm missing is a powder. Um, so the only thing I'm going to be doing is filling that in with the RCMA No Color Powder. I chose RCMA because it's no color powder, so it shouldn't really affect anything. Um, but yeah, let's get started, and I'm going to start off with the brow. So for the brows, I'm going to be taking the uh, Brow Enhancing Powder and Pomade, but I'm using the shade Brunette. I'm going to take the brush that it comes with, too. And first, I'm going to dip into the pomade. This literally was one of my most hot, or like most watched videos, was when I did this review. So my opinion still is the same on the pomade and powder. I really do like it. Um, however, I still feel like you have to have like more of a a brow there already to kind of make one. I mean to fill it in because on my end I have to make one. So it's a little harder when it comes to filling them in to look like I have a brow. You know what I mean? Because I have this much hair and I have to extend it. So it's really, really bomb for somebody who already has a brow and just wants to fill it in. But nonetheless, it's a really good product and the pomade is really sticky. So once it does lay down on your face, it um, stays there pretty well. I still think out of everything, it just needs a spoolie to help you blend out the product so it's not like clumpy or stuck in one area. So now that the pomade's there, I'm going to go in with a um, brush, and I'm just going to set it with the powder. Oh, there's a hair, my lord. Okay, so the mirror I'm going to cover. But I still think that this is really cool, that there is a dark option and a light option, especially for people who don't need... I mean, people who have, like, darker brows that want to fade or, like, kind of ombre their brows. It's really, really nice that there's an option for that. Okay, so now I'm going to move on to my... I want to do foundation. I feel like I just did I just did the brows, so I'm going to start moving on to foundation because then I'm going to do my eyes after. So I'm going to take the Triplicity Foundation Stick in the shade Medium. I like this stick. It's, um, it is more of a stick for oily skin, I would say. I know that people from like oily skin to dry skin, even normal skin, could benefit from this, but just on me, it just doesn't wear how I would like it to. Uh, just because longevity wear, it's just not full, full, full coverage like I would like. But to each their own. Everybody has something that they like about foundation, something they don't. Um, and you can't really like, I can't say it's a bad foundation because it's not my type of full coverage. But I do know that he uses this on a lot of his clients and they look so stunning with this foundation on. Like, it looks, and the thing that I do like about this foundation, and I appreciate about this foundation, is that it looks like skin. Like, it looks like your skin, but better. I'm doing it with a brush because I'm trying to get the most coverage out of it that I can. I would go in with a sponge, but I'm saving that until concealer, just to make sure everything's pounced into the skin. So, once again, I'm just blending this out, making sure I get everything. That kind of looks better. Oh, you can see my hair growing on the sides. That is not a pretty view. Let me just get rid of that for you guys. So I don't know if you guys can see the foundation as well as I can see it, but I do really appreciate it. It looks like my skin, but better. Um, however, like I said, it just doesn't wear as long on me as I would like it to, and that's just personal preference. Um, I know some people can totally wear this all day. It is... I would say, I mean, apparently, clearly, if he's using it on people who are on, like, red carpet and stuff, it's very photo, it's got a good photography and, um, videography wear and look to it. It doesn't look like makeup. It looks like your skin. But I like kind of, like, heavy, heavy makeup, so that's what, that's where, like, our line crosses here. It's a good foundation. It's just not my cup of tea. But I still do like it. And I would still use this on people. So next is going to be the 
um, concealers. I don't remember what this is called. Let me look them up real quick just so I have the exact name because I don't want to play you guys. So this is called the Christopher Buckle Undiscovered Concealer. I fortunately, ever so gratefully, got all of the colors. I'm assuming this is all of the shades that he has. Um, and I thank you if you're watching this Christopher so much because I am an actually a freelance makeup artist so me being able to have a shade range it just like helps out a lot because I'm able to touch more and do more than like just having my shade or like a shade lighter you know what I mean it's cool that I get to see every single shade on every single skin tone versus just like my skin tone and lighter if that makes sense um so my only fall um fall with this is that for some reason mine some of them came with the sticker and some of them didn't and I don't know if that's like it's just the bad part about it is that I can't tell you guys exactly what shade I'm using um I mean I'm pretty sure I can because the ones that I'm going to be using for my skin tone are like the ones that have the names but like if somebody was to ask me I just don't have it and that's not going to be on everybody's end it just might be my end because I got this in PR um but let me get let me talk to you guys about this um, concealer so the one that I'm going to be using is medium warm he does have cool tones and warm tones and I think neutral tones too when I got this concealer and I tried it it was thick like thick like thick um when I had tried it I was like holy shit I don't think I'm going to love this or I don't think I'm going to be able to use this on people because it was thick. Better, like, thicker than shape tape. Like, people like um, Tarte Shape Tape because it's full coverage, right? So this is Tarte Shape Tape. Shape Tape, and this one is in light medium. This is medium in Christopher Buckle's concealer, um, Undiscovered Concealer. I don't know if you could tell, like, texture-wise, but you can kind of tell that this one is, like, a bit thicker than this one is however I kept them in my kit um I'm gonna use this on a palette because I do use these on clients but at first when I had tried it I was like holy shit this is hella thick I don't know if I'm gonna be able to use this and then after it was sitting in my kit for like a couple days it started to get a bit oily and that oil started to thin it out, so it's more workable than what it was when I first got it. I'm going to take it and I'll apply it under my eyes. I love that this concealer is full coverage. It is bomb because typically if you're working on like bridal or anything, pretty much, if you're a makeup artist and you work on anything, you know that like you need full coverage stuff. Concealers are the best, most full coverage concealer that I, concealer that I have tried. So I'm going to take my sponge and I'm just going to blend it out. A lot of people that I've seen like review this or also like try this out have said that it's so thick that they can't blend it out with the sponge. I don't find that to be true. Um, it doesn't smell like anything. It doesn't feel like it is full coverage, but it doesn't feel full coverage. You can't feel it on your skin. I'm going to go ahead and say that this is light warm. I think I would lie to you guys. I think there's just a light. There's a warm and there's a cool tone um, so I'm gonna assume that this is light warm just because I don't have the name of it I'm gonna take a little bit on the palette because y'all know I like like a bright under eye and now I'm just taking the sponge and I'm blending all around my face just to press the foundation into the skin and just set my face with the RCMA powder so these are called the exposure bronzers but they're the they say exposure bronze contour all over matte warming powder so I have it in the shade deep and I have it in the shade light so I'm gonna use the shade deep just because I've used this one before and I love the way that it looked on my skin um, so when you open it you literally just open it there's this flap and what happens is there's a brush that goes there so when you close it you can take this with you and it's ready to go whenever you you need to like touch up or whatever then you pick up the flap or you can flip it there's a mirror here and then there's the powder the powder has a design that's like super beautiful to just stare at it's like an intricate raised design 
Um, so I'm going to take that with my Morphe R14 brush, and I'm just going to warm up my cheeks. The thing that I like about these is, once again, there's no scent. It blends really, really nice. If you put on a lot, you can take a big brush and just blend it out, and it's gone. Unlike some other powders, because um, I've tried some contour or bronzing powders that once you stamp it on your skin, it's like there. And you can't do anything about it, it's just stuck there. So I do like how easy this is to work with and how kind of like user friendly it is, especially for people who are just starting out. I'm going to do the twin set. Um, I have two shades. I have Forever and I have Delight. These are awesome for people who don't know what they like yet, what they're wanting to do, if they like cream powder, uh, cream products or powder products. This is a good gateway, a good kind of like starter tool. This is what the packaging looks like. It is, oh, uh, I love his packaging. I think it's so beautiful. I love like, it's like geometric designing. Um, but it looks like this. You get a mirror. You get a cream blush and you get a powder blush. So like I said, if you don't know where you're wanting to go in the makeup route, there is a cream and a powder. Of course, you can use these cream for like lip colors. Beautiful. Um, I've tried it before and it just wasn't for me because I have crusty lips and we don't even want to get into that. But I'm going to take the one uh, in forever. I'm going to take a stipple brush. And I'm just going to apply this as blush. You can see it's just like a really pretty pinky kind of glow to your skin. It looks like healthy. I'm going to take the concealer. I'm going to place that light warm on my lid. I'm dying just because I know that when he comes out with an eyeshadow palette, I feel like it's going to be the neutral of neutrals like it's going to be the best like everyday kind of palette which I also admire that his products are multi-use you can use just like I'm about to show you guys you can use bronzer as eyeshadow and that's what I'm about to do because he doesn't have any eyeshadows and that's perfectly fine um but I'm going to show you guys how just like he states, you can use his products for more than just one thing. The E27 brush, and I'm going to dip into the shade Light, and I'm just going to take that, swirl it around, and blend that into my crease. I don't know if you guys can see what that's doing, but that's bringing a little bit more warmth to my skin, and it's making my skin look a little bit more of like a healthy, I don't know, kind of like a healthy shadow. Like it just makes it look like I have shadow there, but it just could be my skin, you know? I'm doing it back and forth just because I want to kind of stick with my eye shape. I don't want to exaggerate anything. He, his uh, makeup is always very like soft and glamorous and just fit to each person that he does. So that's kind of what I'm doing is just kind of like a soft, Glam. I am, however, going to take a little bit of the deep, and I'm just going to put that on the outer corner. I think that looks pretty. What do you guys think? Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take his eyeliner. I do know this was called... So, this is the Trick or Two eyeliner. It's the eyeliner that has the eyeliner side and the corrector side. When you do um, purchase this, it does come with the mascara, which again, this packaging is just, it's beautiful. I'm going to do a small liner, like literally knowing just fitting my eye. So just like that, I'm going to do the exact same thing to the other eye. Okay, so I like this eyeliner. I do think that it's a dark eyeliner. However, I'm not a fan of felt tips. Second of all, I do not think that this is something I do, like, don't think that I hate this. I love this. I just don't like that I can't use this on other people. Um, and I mean, technically you could, but sanitary purposes, you don't want to get somebody infected with pink eye or something. So 
that's the only downside about this. Um, however, if you're just buying this to use on yourself, this is really, really bomb. Mascara, I've used on myself, used on clients. It is a super, super black, nice, vo uh, voluminous, lengthening mascara. And as you guys can see, it's not giving me, like, nasty, clumpy lashes. It's giving me just, like, long, lengthy, voluminous lashes. And I'm not going to put on fake eyelashes on top of this just because I want this to literally be a full face. And I want this to be showcasing everything that he has to offer. So the same thing, I'm going to take it on my lower lash line now. What I want to do now is I'm going to do the lips while that dries. And then I'm going to smoke out a little bit of that um, deep color on the bottom. For lips, I think I want to go in with Vampy Lip. Just because this is so soft. I'm going to go in with Obsessed, which is this plummy purple shade. It was super, super gorgeous. The moment I saw it, I was like... So I'm going to apply this to the lips. Now I'm going to go in with my Morphe M170-2. It's a lip detail brush, and I'm going to just fix the lip PK524 brush contour shade, and I'm going to apply that to the lower lash line. I think I kind of want to, I'm going to take the brush and kind of flick it out like that. What that's going to kind of do is make it look a little bit like a, like a wing. It's going to add a little bit of depth to the outer part of our eye without actually having to put a wing there. Same thing, drag it up. Now, to top it all off, I'm going to spray the Christopher Buckle Power Lock Makeup Setting Spray. I love this stuff. I cannot stop raving about this stuff. This stuff is, first of all, hold on. So this stuff on QVC retails for $29.98. You see it? Do you see it? It's beautiful, right? Kat Von D, her setting spray, I want to say is $26. And this is 4.0 ounces, so 4 ounces. This is 7.4 ounces. You're getting like almost twice the amount that you get from this and this. And this, it literally takes like three sprays and you're locked for the whole day. I've used this on brides. I've used this on um, Halloween makeup just to prolong the wear of it. And this stuff is bomb. It literally will not make your makeup move at all. So I always hold it like about this far away from my face, like arm's length, and I'll spray it. So... This, however, does have a scent. It is a very strong scent. It smells sweet. Um, at least to me, it smells sweet. I know a lot of people are not a fan of scented products. Um, if you're not a fan of it, if you're not a fan of the scented product, I hope that you at least give it a chance just because this does prolong your makeup. Um, I used to use hairspray on my face to set my makeup, and that's just more, like, safe. Just because I know that it's for that purpose. Um... So it's meant to keep your makeup set for a long period of time without putting hairspray all over your face. But this is the full face. I hope you guys enjoyed this. It's a full face using all Christopher Buckle cosmetics. And I really am a big supporter of Christopher Buckle. I'm very proud of him being an artist supporting working artists. Um, I feel like there should be more people like that out in the world. I'm also a big fan of his, like... How do, how do you say that? Like, what he's done, his production list, or, like, his, uh, client list, it's, like, booming. He has a lot of people that he does, um, uh, makeup on, and they always look stunning, beautiful, gorgeous, like, red carpet ready. So, I'm very happy that he has sent me his makeup to try and show you guys. I hope you guys want to pick up some of the products that I've mentioned to you guys. They're all really good quality. <clears throat> some of them, you guys know how I feel. Um, are like better than others but however I still love all of his products I'm a big supporter of him just because he sent me this doesn't mean that I'm like kissing his ass or that I'm trying to be like oh my god I love it all I do love his products I do love how they work just it's it varies how I use them so I hope you guys learned from this I will see you guys in the next tutorial so until then bye <laughs>